I was just browsing my Instagram DMs because I only visit Instagram once in a blue moon. And bam! Someone wants to work with me? Their thingy magic looks a little sus, but it's interesting. So I say sorry, and then I say yes. I present to you the Turbox Neo. Hi, I'm Kira Mori, a virtual YouTuber who has officially said fuck you to her mechanical keyboard ever since receiving the tour box. Now I'm just kidding, I still need my keyboard to name my layers and stuff. <laughs> Here is an outline of the video for your perusal, just in case you want to skip anything because I know that there are a lot of people on YouTube here who have the attention span of a goldfish. I am going to give the conclusion of this review early on because I want to be a semi-unique and cool content creator for you guys. Overall, I love the Turbox very much and it has really made my workflow in Live 2D easier and faster. It also saves a ton of space for those who use display tablets and even small non-display tablets, but not necessarily for those who really need keyboards like me for naming a lot of stuff like in live 2d it's a little difficult to get used to at first because you don't know where to put your fingers because of the arrangement of the buttons but you know over time you'll get used to it and you're gonna hold the tour box in your own special way the price is pretty steep for beginner content creators so i think this product is the best if you really do have the money and if you create content art or do anything creative on a regular basis if you want more in-depth pros and cons skip to this timestamp right here before i continue yapping i just want to say that Torbox is really cool for telling me to be absolutely unbiased in my review Thanks! If you're still a little confused about what this device is, the Torbox is basically an analog controller that you can use in order to make your creative process more intuitive and efficient. Right out of the box, it includes a quick start guide, safety instructions, and a little car just in case you need help with the product. The device itself and its cable are in these cute little pouches which I will totally keep because they're reusable got a new tour box because you just don't use those freaking thin disposable plastics. <laughs> On to the device, it has a total of 11 buttons, 2 dials, and a scroll wheel, wherein the dials and scroll wheels are all clickable. Wow! The setup of the tour box is really easy. I just went to their website to download the software and bada bing bada boom when you install the software it comes with some presets to get you started you can also look for presets of you know softwares that you use online and i was really happy that someone else was using the tour box with live td hi and if you're thinking damn 11 buttons how's that gonna cover all my hotkeys there are lots of combinations for shortcut keys which I honestly did not immediately see because I was not paying attention to these little drop down arrows. <laughs> when you set up the hotkeys, the tags here actually mean what's gonna be the name of the shortcut. To set up the hotkeys, you just have to press your hotkeys. It's that easy. If you're having a little trouble finding some keys on the software, you can also try and press the key on your tour box to quickly jump to that section. You can also set up the tour box so that it automatically switches presets when you change programs, which is pretty smart. Besides hotkeys, the tour box can also record macro Mm, thing yes it is found right here just go do your string of instructions the device is priced at 169 usd with free global shipping additionally if you use my code in the description you will get 10 usd off <gasps> that's whole ten dollars all right as you look at me rigging i'll be detailing the pros and cons of this device we're gonna start with the pros First, it has less plastic in packaging and the non-paper things are actually reusable. The box is also pretty sturdy and I actually use it as some kind of like 
a stand for my iPad. Yeah. <laughs> The device has a really sturdy feeling build and cable, though after a month of use, the cable has already frayed and I'm not really gonna complain about it because it's a braided cable thing. Yeah, it, it's gonna do that eventually. <laughs> Another point, I don't have to take my hand away from my tablet or mouse to make complicated hotkeys and I don't have to do all of those finger gymnastics. It could be very useful for artists to own two-in-one devices. For example, if you have something like a Microsoft Surface wherein the keyboard will be accessible if you want to use the pen and the touch screen, yeah, that thing. Another pro is that it's analog and the buttons feel very different from each other. So yeah, you don't have to look away from your screen. Compared to the Stream Deck, which I tried using for hotkeys, I would still sometimes have to look to check if I'm actually using the right button because all of the buttons are the same. <laughs> The tour box is also really responsive, like I'm really glad that there isn't any kind of input delay. The controls really make my workflow intuitive, like, I don't know, the dials just make sense for shortcuts like zooming in and out. Another pro is the macros, which is super useful when I'm doing emotes. The process is a little bit repetitive when it comes to saving it and shrinking. The emotes. I could also use this in Live TV when I just want to quickly export the model, so it makes the workflow easier and more automated. Moving on to the cons, the device could be overpriced for some people. It's a pretty huge investment, especially for those who don't earn a lot of money with the creative work that they do. The product is definitely not for everyone. The price and functionality might be too much for beginner creators and casual artists. I would also recommend. Tourbox to have better quality buttons to make the price more justifiable. I'm holding it right now and some buttons definitely feel a little too shallow. There's definitely a tactile feel there but more travel distance will be appreciated. It could be a little difficult to get used to at first especially if you are easily confused by unusual layouts. Okay, the arrangement of the buttons is a little strange personally since I'm used to devices like the Stream Deck where everything is nice and tidy. But yeah, it's not really a big con for me. The dials could be a little firmer, like you should turn them with more force, especially the middle one, so it doesn't have to move with minimal effort because you can accidentally touch it and then your canvas just moves or does whatever the dial does. The last con would be I still have to move my hand to navigate the tour box because sometimes when I'm using a specific set of combinations, holding the tour box in a certain way is more comfortable. Now I'm done with the pros and cons, here are some things that I look forward to for the tour box. I definitely look forward to more controls and combinations. And in the future, I hope that they develop a device that has wireless support and iPad OS support because this will be a really good combination, I think. Especially for software like Procreate and maybe even Photoshop on the iPad. Yeah. And I also look forward to further development of the software. They've actually updated the software since they gave me the tour box and they've already solved some of my complaints, which I'm really glad about. And that is it for this video. I actually enjoyed reviewing this product because it makes me think that I want to be some kind of tech reviewer, VTuber. I like trying out new things and telling what I like and don't like about them. I, I like complaining. <laughs> big, big, big thanks to Tourbox for reaching out to me and allowing me to review their product even though I replied really late to their Instagram DM. <laughs> I hope everyone liked the review and if you want to see more of my content, I stream. So yeah, you can subscribe, I guess, turn on the notification bell, all of those YouTuber stuff, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. See ya, Kira.